So you've probably heard about companies like Google and Facebook and how they absolutely spoil their employees with benefits and perks. We're talking about free food, getting paid to play golf, and lazing around on beanbags while you work, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. And you're probably thinking that Google or Facebook is gonna be number one on this list, and actually, they're not. And Google is good, don't get me wrong, but you might be thinking, Shane, you know, if you're not at a fang company or one of those super fancy technology companies, you're wasting your time. But it's actually not just the big fancy technology companies that do this. In fact, Apple only came in at number 84 on last year's list. And there are many companies that you would never expect in all different types of industries that prioritize their employees' happiness. And these companies consistently score much higher year after year on the list than a lot of these traditional companies like Fang. In case you didn't know, Fang is Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. Some of the companies on this list are going to be in healthcare, fashion, manufacturing, and even fast food. And not only do these types of companies pay you better, but they also lead to much higher satisfaction and overall quality of life. And in this video, I'm not only gonna show you these companies, but I'm also gonna give you tips on how you can find a company that prioritizes their employees' happiness. And I also went back about 10 years and I saw which companies consistently scored high on this list, so it's not just one company that for one year decides to treat their employees well and scores high, and then the next year they don't care. These are all going to be companies that consistently score well year after year and if you appreciate my hard research make sure to give that like button a boop do not smash it okay just gently tap it give it a little boop and we're gonna get right into it all right so let's get this out of the way right away just to establish a baseline we're gonna talk about Google tech companies like Google and Facebook are famous for treating their employees extremely well and just to mention a few things we'll go over the list here free delicious meals, free education like cooking classes, speeches and talks from famous people and world-renowned experts, free workout classes you can go to anytime during the day, great location and views, free massages for when you get stressed, free transportation every day, and tuition reimbursement. And that's not even to mention the financial benefits. I mean, Google is known for paying their employees really well, offering stock options to people that sometimes can be even more than the salary itself. So for instance, you could look at an L8 programmer at Google. The green bar here is their normal base salary, and the blue bar is their stock option. And overall, they're making over a million dollars a year. Now, of course, a lot of things are going to be different because of the illness going around. And this year, Google ranked number 11. So they kind of slipped down the list a little bit. Now I did mention this before, there is a lot of tech related companies on these lists and there's a good reason for that. I've mentioned this many times on the channel, but these companies do tend to pay their employees better and just treat them better overall. And that is one of the many reasons why I recommend going into technology because there's just so much opportunity. You can make a lot of money, the companies are going to treat you really well, you learn really valuable skills that you can then go and start your own business with, or if you want to be an employee, you can just work your way up and make more and more. However, there is one company that is consistently better than Google, Facebook, Apple, or any of those big technology companies that is not tech related, and that is what we're gonna be talking about next. Next, we're gonna be talking about a company that ranked number one in 2016, and that is Bain & Company. <laughs> No, not that Bain. Working for him can actually be pretty dangerous. So Bain is basically one of the big three management consulting companies, and they give their services to CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. We're talking about things like market analysis, corporate strategy. They're basically just sprinkling some knowledge here and there on a bunch of different topics. And basically, for a lot of business majors, it's their dream to work for one of these companies, and Bain is probably the one that treats their employees the best. For one, working for Bain is extremely prestigious, meaning whenever you decide to leave them, you'll likely get a ton of other job offers. But on top of that, they also have some insane perks and benefits, including one employee saying that if you decide to not invest in your 401k, they'll put money in your 401k for you anyways, for free. Oh my God! Wow! So that means they're putting money into your 401k and then additionally, they're matching part of the money they put into your 401k on top of that. That's freaking awesome. Now all the companies on this list are going to have exceptional benefits packages. We're talking free healthcare, time off, free food, etc. But what I think separates Bain from all of the other ones is the quality of the fellow employees that you're going to be working with. 
I mean, for one, in 2016, Bain's CEO was voted in as the number one CEO on Glassdoor.com. His name is Bob Bacek, and he had a 99% approval rating. And on top of that, the people that you work with are the best of the best. We're talking world class at whatever they do. Whatever their core skills are, whatever industry they're in, they are the best of the best. And that's why CEOs of Fortune 500 companies will pay them big bucks to consult with them. And so you get to make connections with the best of the best, and you'll also probably be talking with CEOs and executives of some of the biggest companies in the world. Many people learn a lot from working here and then they leverage the connections that they've made and the skills they've learned in order to maybe become a CEO themselves. That's right, Bain is a great company to work for and also a great villain. <laughs> Spilled on myself. Guess I'm gonna need some uh, bleach, some Clorox bleach to clean that up. All right, so the Clorox company. Bet you were probably surprised to see this one on the list. And this is a company that consistently ranks at the top of the list. For instance, in 2017, they came in number 12. Now, why would a company like Clorox, which is basically just a manufacturing company where most of the workers are probably working on assembly lines, want to treat their employees so much better than other types of companies? Well, for one, 86% of their employees say that it's a great place to work versus 59% for other companies. Now you might not be able to meet Ryan Reynolds, for instance, you know, it's not gonna have some of those ridiculous perks and benefits that Google has. However, a lot of the time it has more to do with the people that you work with and the culture. Now when they surveyed people because they wanted to look into why people enjoyed working at this company so much, you saw that about 92% of them said it, the reason is this is a friendly place to work. About 90% said I'm proud to tell others I work here. 90% said I feel good about the ways we contribute to the community. 90% said when you join the company you are made to feel welcome and 89% said I am able to take time off from work when I think it's necessary and most importantly they said employees enjoy taking trips to the bleach I'm, I'm really sorry for making that pun I, I just I apologize that that was awful so sometimes it's not all about getting paid that big money and having ridiculous benefits like getting to meet famous people. Sometimes it has more to do with more wholesome things like the people you work with and the culture. Speaking of wholesome, and by that I mean I wish I could stick a whole burger in my mouth because they don't have this company in my state. That's right, you guessed it, in and out all I gotta say is double double animal style extra grilled onions and you can keep the fries and replace that with an extra burger because they kind of taste like chop. No, but seriously, In-N-Out is a fast food company that's known for treating their employees extremely well. For instance, store managers get paid $160,000 a year, which is three times the industry average. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? That's it, that's it. I'm, I'm quitting YouTube, I'm quitting pharmacy. I'm done with this. Instead of asking, do you have any questions on this antibiotic? Or did you want to gently tap that like button? I'm going to be asking people if they want fries and ketchup with that. Bruh. Yeah, I think I'd probably do that for 160K a year, but that's not all. There's more. On top of that, they offer all of their employees a generous package of paid vacation, 401k matching, and health insurance, whether they're working part-time or full-time, which is pretty much unheard of in that industry. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. And wouldn't you know it, according to research at UC Berkeley, paying your employees well and treating them well leads to more productivity, less turnover costs, which means you don't have to spend all that money hiring and firing people. And that means bigger profits for the company. And so it's a win-win situation for everybody. Happy company, happy bosses, happy employees, and happy Karens. Except for those of us who don't live in the Southwest. No, but seriously, I'm joking around about this, but without going into too much detail because I don't want to like dox this person, there was uh, a lady that I worked with and she had worked for a particular company for over 40 years. And when her 40th year hit, nobody even got her a cake. Like all the company did for her is they sent her a brochure and she could pick like one $15 item out of it. All of this was automated, like there was no tender loving care involved. It was just like automated, oh, you automatically send this person this uh, pamphlet when they hit the 40 year mark. The manager had to shell out their own money in order to buy her a cake. And this was just really sad and depressing to see this. I mean, this is somebody who basically gave up their entire life, like their entire career to this company, and they didn't care at all. 
It was really sad to see her not get the recognition that she deserved. And I know finding a good company can feel like finding a needle in a haystack. So that's why I make these videos to give shout outs to the companies that are doing a good job and also tell you how you can spot the signs that your company is good or bad. And if you're working for a company that isn't compensating you correctly, they're not offering you opportunities to work up, you know, they're not really treating you all that well, they're treating you like almost like a cog in the machine, then by all means, you know, work for them until you've saved up a little bit of money but make sure you're also looking for better opportunities out there. Don't think that if you stayed with them long enough and you're loyal to them or something like that, things are gonna get better. All right, so if I didn't wear black t-shirts for a living, I would definitely wear their workout clothes, but only when I went to work out, which I don't really anymore. Quarantine's been tough. <sighs> You know, now that I think about it, it's probably a good thing there's no in and outs in my area because over the last year, I probably would have been making a lot more investments in myself, if you know what I mean. We're talking about investments outside of the stock market. But anyways, I digress. Anybody who has worked in retail knows that it can be a huge pain in the butt. Repetitive work, angry customers, and the worst thing is you have to use those cash registers that look like they're from the 1980s. But anyways, Lululemon is one of those retail companies that has been consistently ranking at the top of the list, and just a few years ago, they came in at number six. Now this store offers really good work-life balance. The hourly pay is gonna be much better than normal retail jobs. There's gonna be great benefits, bonuses. There's lots of free products that you get from store ambassadors and you get a lot of discounts on the clothes in the store if you wanna buy them. And if that wasn't enough, this is the one that really stuck out and this is the reason why this one made it onto the video, is you actually get paid to work out. That's right, you get paid to work out. The only caveat is you have to be wearing Lululemon clothing. They also offer great 401k matching, health insurance, and one of the best things is they give it to part-time and full-time employees. You know what, now that I think about it, I am a little bit too much of a minimalist and I think I need some new clothes. All right, let's check out Lululemon, all right? Oh, um, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna stick to black shirts. Next on the list is going to be Southwest Airlines. Now, one question that I get all the time on my channel is, Shane, you know, I wish I would have seen your videos five years ago so I didn't get this useless degree and I'm not able to find a job, but you know, since I'm in this situation anyways, what advice do you have for me? Well, one career you might wanna look into is flight attendant because it pays pretty well and they usually want you to have a college degree, but they don't really care what degree it is. For instance, Southwest Airlines pays their flight attendants around $65,000 a year, which is by far the highest in the industry. And on top of that, they are consistently rated as one of the best companies to work for year after year. And last year, for instance, they came in at number 10. And it's not just the flight attendants that are happy. They actually offer most of these amazing benefits to all of their employees. We're talking baggage, maintenance, etc. And the amount of insane perks you get for working for Southwest, I mean, you could make an entire video on that alone. You can just see me scrolling down the page here. But just to give you an example, they have great health coverage, life insurance, short and long-term disability, 401k matching up to 9.3% of their paycheck, profit sharing, employee stock purchase plan at 10% off the normal price, and a profit sharing plan that will pay you extra on top of your bonuses depending on how well the company does. Oh, and did I mention free flights anywhere in the world for you and your family? This company is actually so well known for treating their employees well that Glassdoor coined the term the Southwest effect. Okay, so it's interesting. We actually have a, 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 an effect I saw Gary backstage and I said, look, we have an effect named after you. It's called the Southwest effect. Satisfied employees create financial wealth. And this is how companies are financially gaining from treating their employees well in the same way that Southwest did. So this just goes to show most people are kind of focused on like, oh, what career am I gonna go into? And then maybe if you're a little bit smart about it, you're focused on, oh, what industry am I gonna go into? But don't ignore company. The company you work for can be extremely important as well. You can be in the same industry in the same career, but if you work for a company that doesn't give you good opportunities and treat you well, you might end up being miserable. And working for the right company can be the exact opposite. They can give you lots of opportunities, treat you well, pay you well, etc. And it really doesn't matter what industry or career you work in, sometimes working for the right company can be essential. Speaking of essential, the next one on the list might be the best overall, and that is going to be McDonald's. Bruh. 
Just kidding, this one is going to be for all of my essential healthcare professionals out there. All right, so next on the list is going to be St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and as a healthcare professional myself, I especially appreciate this one. Now, I've mentioned this a lot on the channel, and it's something that people almost never think about until later on in their careers, but it's really good if you try to think about this as early as possible, and that is a lot of the time your satisfaction might have a lot more to do with meaning rather than job satisfaction. So job satisfaction is basically, you know, how happy are you to do your job on a day-to-day -day basis, whereas meaning is how much are you helping other people? How much value are you giving the world? So short-term, job satisfaction is great. You're probably gonna enjoy it, but you're gonna eventually get tired of doing it no matter how fun it is. And what really keeps you going is meaning, at least in my opinion, because of the fact that you know you're really helping other people out. And this one is a perfect example. Now, no doubt they offer amazing benefits and perks. Every single one on this video has really good perks and benefits. I made sure to check them and they ranked really high on the list. So it looks like they came in number 13 last year. However, in case you didn't know, uh, St. Jude's takes care of pediatric cancer patients. Their mission is to find treatments and cures for children that have cancer and other really serious diseases. So for the right person, working at a place like this can be extremely meaningful and it can keep you happy for a long period of time. Now, one thing that I quickly want to say is you don't necessarily have to work for one of these companies in order to have a you know happy or fulfilling job. There are lots of companies out there that are relatively kind to their employees, even though their benefits might not be as extreme as some of the ones that I mentioned here. For instance, a friend of mine who has an associate's degree in business recently got a job with a Fortune 50 company and they are nowhere on any of these lists. He's making six figures a year and the benefits are are really really nice we're talking free food the company does all kinds of things for you they throw parties for them it, it's just amazing all these different benefits and perks that they give so the best thing you can do in order to find a company that prioritizes their employees happiness is to look on sites like glassdoor.com that's where I got all of the numbers for this list ignore the bad ones and then apply to the ones that treat their employees well bonus time. Now, after you've worked for a few years, you have some industry experience, you've gained skills, you've made some connections, a good idea might be for you to look into starting your own business. Now, this isn't for everyone. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people actually prefer working a nine to five because there's a lot less responsibility. You don't have to wear like 12 different hats. You know, when you own your own company, you're basically like the accountant, the marketer, the salesperson, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You're, you're just, you're doing like a million different things at once. And this definitely isn't for everybody. And despite what a lot of people like to tell you on the internet, it's a good idea to try to build up some skills, some base skills before you go out and try to start your own business, just because of the fact it's going to be very, very difficult to survive. The vast majority of businesses fail within the first 10 years. It's usually between 70 to 90% of them are going to fail, and it really depends on what industry you are in, etc. But this can be a great idea for the right person in the right situation. If you haven't done it already, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, uh, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticism, criticisms, etc. especially if you worked for a really bad company or a really good one. Um, you know, I'm not able to uh, disclose the uh, bad companies that I have personally worked for or my friends have personally worked for because I don't want to get sued. But if you guys want to uh, share some nuggets of wisdom down in the comments section, it would be much appreciated to everyone.